Hello friend, my name's Doombabe and welcome to another anime review. As per usual, we're gonna kick this off with the opening and closing sequences, and actually this is, like the last episode, another anime with ridiculously short time runs. And because of that, I was not expecting there to be both an opening and a closing, but this actually did. And I'm not gonna lie, not only is the opening really silly, but the closing is very bland and boring and a total waste of time. I don't know who recorded the songs, but the opening features the four male characters flying around on sweets and the female characters are flying around on kitchen utensils. If that doesn't clue you in onto how silly the anime can get, then I really don't know what can. The ending, as I said, is incredibly generic. It features two of the characters, just stills of them, and the song is made by the same group, but it's different and it's not really as catchy. Because this is a very short time run for the anime, as like, five minutes per episode, I feel like having both an intro and an outro, both of which are like 30 seconds a piece, so that's a whole, that's a fifth of the anime being taken up by credits and cute weird little things. I feel like that was a huge, huge waste of time. In terms of the voice acting though, the voice acting was not as bad as I thought it would be, and in fact it actually wasn't bad at all. I thought it was going to be really ridiculous and cartoony, but the voice actors they chose were actually pretty damn skilled. And again, I feel like it's a huge waste and I'll explain why. Now this is actually a really entertaining anime that is based on a mobile game that is still in development. It follows the story of Sayuri Haruno, a student accepted on a scholarship program to the confectionery school Fleer. Sayuri's goal in life is to open up a pastry shop of her own and she's something of a child prodigy in the art. Included in the cast list are the gorgeous instructors Gilbert, Yoshinosuke, and Mitsuki, as well as her good friend Ryo. The characters are very typical and shallowly created, but a story where there are four beautiful, talented men pining over this middle class girl that was accepted to their richy, fancy school on a scholarship, those anime typically are not going to be full of a ton of depth. But what really bothers me is that this looked like a very high budget anime that got stabbed in the face with stupid effects and a short time run. The instructors turn into like fucking sailor scouts when they start baking and there's absolutely no reason for these teachers to be spending this much time with the student. She just walks into the classroom after hours and they're like, hey, let's go spend time in fucking Tokyo and have dinner. The writing can be good in some spots, but it's really just terabat and everything else. The anime itself had a metric butt-ton of potential, and it just ended up being nothing but fan service. And as I said, this is an anime with very, very, very short episodes, but unlike the previous anime that I reviewed, which was sort of like a bunch of web sorts, this is just an anime that just leaves off in the middle of the story. Pretty much for every four episodes, that could be like one big episode with its own plot. The episodes really do not have closures, it just stops right in the middle of the story with like Sayuri looking at the camera and giggling or something, and then it just pans away. And then you just end up feeling really, really unsatisfied. I feel like if I were to rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, I would definitely knock it back to a 7 just for that. And that was kind of a rant, so let's move on to the design. I am a sucker for glossy hair and I really like ombre hair, so if you put two of those together, I'm gonna be a happy camper with the hair. And then of course, you know, the rest of the anime is just generic, super skinny, long people, and perfectness everywhere, so there's really not much to say about that. And I did not let Sayuri's hair being shaped into two roses under her ear go unnoticed. That was very appreciated by me. But as I said, that was really the only thing that stood out for me, which is not so much a bad thing, but when the rest of the anime is really dropping the ball, it's like, eh. In conclusion though, this is really the only anime I've come across that stumped me on whether I liked it or not. The design and the voice acting were pretty good, but then the fan servicey parts, dock points, and the time run tux points, and then there's the time wasted on songs, and then there's the weirdness of the openings. I feel like if they were ever to release this on DVD with the episodes properly merged, 
then I would suggest this anime to someone who really likes or in High School Host Club but doesn't care a whole lot about stories that make sense. As it is now though, no, this isn't something I would ever recommend and it's not something where I'm going to be waiting for episodes to come out. I sat through like 10 episodes and I'm done. I just don't feel- I feel like it would be a waste of time if I put any more time into it. But that is it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you watched the anime, let me know. If you have any anime you want me to review, let me know. Uh, there have been people who have been requesting anime, but some of them were very long series, and I'm just letting you guys know now that with all of the work I put into the channel, it's gonna be like months before I can review it. So just sit tight, get ready, you know, I'll do it, I'll get to it, but be patient. So I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! Oh, shut the hell up. Shut up! I don't want to listen to you guys pretend me. <laughs>